Yeah is bringing back to mind Princess Diana and Michael Jackson's unlikely friendship. As we look into it to discuss the 3 a.m. phone calls, custom made jackets for Princess William and Harry, but only one face to face meeting. Let's consider all of these one after the other. The King of Pop gave Princess Diana and Prince Charles 177,000 US dollars for the Prince's Trust Charity after his Wembley Stadium concert in 1988. Diana enjoyed the songs Thriller and Bad and when Jackson removed Dirty Diana from his set list out of respect for the British Royal, she insisted he put it back in. Princess Diana and Michael Jackson may have come from vastly different backgrounds, but these two larger-than-life personalities actually had a lot in common. A fact that lead them to form a strong bond right at their first and only face-to-face -face meeting. In the span of roughly nine years, Diana and Jackson's friendship grew into something remarkable despite the fact that it was mostly over distance and here is how it unfolded. Princess Diana was a huge fan of Michael Jackson long before she met him. The late princess was said to have been a fan of Jackson long before they met in July 16, 1988 at his bad concert tour in Wembley Stadium. Like the rest of the world, Princess Diana was reported to have been listening to the songs Thriller and Bad on repeat before the concert. She told me she was honored to meet me, Jackson told Barbara Waters in a 1997 interview. On that same day, while backstage, Jackson gave Princess Diana and Prince Charles a hundred and fifty thousand euro, which is equal to one hundred and seventy-seven thousand US dollars check for the Prince's trust. The money for which came from his Wembley concert. He also gave the princess two custom-made leather jackets for Princess William and Harry, with bad emblazoned on the back. Jackson changed his concert set list for Princess Diana. In the same interview with Walters, Jackson revealed that he deliberately removed the song Dirty Diana from his 1988 bad concert set list out of respect for the princess. I wrote a song called Dirty Diana and it is not about Lady Diana, Jackson said. It's about certain kind of girls that hang around concerts or clubs. They call them groupies. Diana took me away and she said, are you going to do Dirty Diana? I said no, I took it out of the show because of you. She said no, I want you to do it, do the song. About how 3 a.m. phone calls made their friendship stronger. Their meeting back in 1988 may have been their first and only face-to-face -face encounter, but the pair built a connection that was so strong, they continued to stay in contact, even making 3 a.m. phone calls to each other. In an interview with the Daily Mirror in 1999, Jackson recounted their conversations about the tabloids, the paparazzi and children. Diana used to confide in me. She would just call me on the phone and we would talk about everything that was happening in her life, Jackson said. Jackson added that they felt a special bond because of their shared experience of fame. The press were hard on her in the same way they were hard on me and she needed to talk to someone who knew exactly what she was going through. She felt haunted in the way I felt haunted. The boat used the press to their advantage and for good. Being globally recognized celebrities, both found ways to deal with the constant barrage of media and paparazzi attention by using it to their advantage. Knowing she would get followed everywhere, Princess Diana made sure it was on her own terms. Diana, in her own words, documentary filmmaker Tom Jennings said in an interview for Pop Sugar in 2017, she made a conscious decision to say, well, if they are going to follow my every move, I'm going to have them follow me to places that I want to call attention to. And soon thereafter, she was going to an AIDS hospice in London. Taking a leaf out of Diana's book, Jackson used the press to his advantage when he sold exclusive photos of his newborn son, Parry Jackson's little brother, Prince, for $3 million to OK Magazine. 
all of which he donated to the charity. And that is that about all that there is inside Princess Diana and Michael Jackson's unlikely friendship. 3M phone calls, custom made jackets for Princess William and Harry, but only one face to face meeting. What do you all think guys? Do well to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Where you are on right now is a net explosive YouTube platform, your favorite infotainment channel here on YouTube. You are welcome on board guys and we are happy to have you around. Do well to subscribe and turn on post notification as many more explosives will be rolled out in no time. We will see you some other time. It is infotainment forever and net explosives to the world. Do you think you will ever be queen? <gasps> no, I don't. No. Why do you think that? I'd like to be a queen of people's hearts, in people's hearts. But I don't see myself being queen of this country. I don't think many people would want me to be queen. Actually, when I say many people, I mean the establishment that I'm married into. Because they've decided that... I'm a non-starter. Why do you think they've decided that? Because I do things differently. Because I don't go by a rule book. Because I lead from the heart, not the head. And albeit that's got me into trouble in my work, I understand that. But someone's got to go out there and love people and show it. And do you think that because of the way you behave, that's precluded you effectively from becoming queen? Yes, I do.